Hello, my name is Emily Knowlton, and I'm an immunology sales specialist at Proimmune. And in this presentation, I'll introduce you to our ProCERN DC T cell proliferation assay for measuring CD4 T cell proliferative responses to whole protein antigens. Immunogenicity, or unwanted immune responses, can be a significant obstacle in the development of biological drugs. There are multiple factors that contribute to immunogenicity, and these can be described as either extrinsic or intrinsic factors. Extrinsic factors include things like the route of administration in which the drug is given, the frequency of exposure to that drug, and the immune status of the patient receiving it, while intrinsic factors represent the biologic itself, so the amino acid sequence, the formulation in which it's given, or whether the biologic will aggregate. A new biologic will contain novel protein content, or these intrinsic factors, that can lead to T-cell activation. The following cartoon illustrates the activation of a T-cell dependent pathway, ultimately leading to an unwanted immune response against the biologic. In this cartoon, the drug is first taken up and processed by a professional antigen presenting cell, such as a dendritic cell. Those DCs will present peptide epitopes within the context of an MHC class II molecule to help our CD4 T cells. This interaction is key in driving the remainder of the response as the activated T cells can provide help to the B cells. Activated B cells can then secrete anti-drug antibodies, which can result in a loss of efficacy, altered PK and PD, and cross-reactivity. Identifying these intrinsic factors, such as CD4 T cell epitopes, and managing immunogenicity risk in the early drug development stages is a critical process, and success in this area can have a significant impact on the program's value. Proimmune offers an integrated, best-in-class assay platform that allows you to evaluate the potential for immunogenicity risk specific to your program needs. For example, if there are multiple biologic candidates in the pipeline, the ProCERN DC T cell proliferation assay can be used to rank the candidates during the lead selection phase. The DC T cell assay helps to identify the presence or absence of potential T cell epitopes within proteins. The assay is designed to develop a picture of relative antigenicity between structurally similar molecules that are comparable in their application, formulation, mode of action, and route of exposure. It is a highly sensitive assay that can also be used to assess post-translational modifications, aggregates, and excipients. In this assay, the CD4 T cell responses to whole protein test candidates are measured using flow cytometry. We would typically suggest a panel of 20 to 50 donors that we select from our proimmune donor cohort. These donors are sourced from the UK NHS Blood and Transplant Service. The PBMCs are isolated and then cryopreserved, and all donors are fully typed for class 2 and then selected for each assay to best represent the tissue type distribution in the general population. We can measure up to 18 test articles per donor cohort, and each test protein is run in 8 replicates alongside 2 control proteins, including KLH and PPD. The assay has a very fast turnaround with data reports provided in typically just four to six weeks from receipt of the test proteins. The workflow for the DC T cell assay is described here. Monocyte derived dendritic cells are generated from each healthy donor and then loaded with the drug candidate. The activated loaded DCs are then washed and co-incubated with autologous CFSE labeled PBMCs. CFSE is an intracellular staining dye that gets incorporated evenly into daughter cells every time the cell divides. After the seven-day co-culture, CFSE levels are measured on CD4 positive T cells by flow cytometry. An added advantage with this method is that if required, T cell populations can be further characterized by incorporating additional phenotypic markers, which isn't possible with other proliferation assays, such as tritiated thymidine incorporation. Furthermore, the assay measures all proliferating T cells over the seven day period, including those that may respond at early and later times during this window. Thymidine incorporation assays, however, are limited in this regards as they're only capable of measuring responses at a single time point. In these representative dot plots, box C represents the proliferating CD4 positive, CFSC low T cells in response to the test protein 
which is compared with box A in the unstimulated control. Those CFSC levels are used to calculate a response index, which are the percent of donors responding multiplied by the average strength of response over 100. The data generated by the DC T-cell assay allows you to directly compare the relative T-cell epitope content among the antibody variants and then rank them accordingly based on the response index. With this highly sensitive assay, even subtle differences can be detected. For example, a few amino acid differences. This platform has a wide dynamic range in that it not only takes into account the T-cell proliferative responses to whole protein, but the antigen processing and presentation by the dendritic cells as well. In this example, the response index is shown on the y-axis with the x-axis representing the various test proteins. The KLH and PPD controls are featured on the left, followed by a chimeric version of the antibody, six humanized versions, and a fully human version. Here, the response index for the humanized four and fully human antibodies were much lower than the other variants and suggest that comparatively, the other antibodies may be at a greater risk for causing unwanted immune responses based on the presence of more and or stronger T-cell epitopes. In summary, identifying the T-cell epitope content among your biologic candidates can help to rank your molecules by relative risk and aid in the decision-making process. Utilizing immunogenicity assessment assays, such as the DC T-cell assay, is key in generating data that can help differentiate your biologic from the competitors, and ultimately winning in the drug markets of the future. Permune's experience and wide range of specialist assays in an integrated platform allows you to address your specific program needs, saving you time, money, and reducing the overall project risk. To conclude, the ProCERN DC T-cell assay is a great and fast tool to compare the relative T-cell epitope content among multiple biologic candidates, a key factor in driving unwanted immune responses. If you have any questions or wish to receive a sample report or customized proposal, please contact us at inquiries at or by the phone numbers listed here. Thank you for your attention and we look forward to being able to help you.